I actually have a very long history with Roland products. The Roland Jupiter 4 was the synthesizer I used most on the first Duran Duran album. It features on a lot of the tracks uh, the, the sound that opens Planet Earth and Rio, the arpeggiator, is the Roland Jupiter 4. And it was from that synth that I started learning Roland's language of how they put together the panels on synthesizers. And it's so logical and so easy to work with, intuitive, that that's why I've always loved Roland products. The Roland Jupiter 8 is the synthesizer that I have used most throughout my career. There's something about the sound of them that is so warm and big and for me easy to manipulate. It features very heavily on the Rio album. You know, these early sequences were quite basic compared to what we have now, but they were also revolutionary. They, they, they really pioneered what was going on with sound. The SH-2 and the CSQ-100 I used uh, on the track The Chauffeur and also on Save a Prayer. What I love about the Roland products is that they all have their own personality and their own character. And my heart always remains with analog synthesizers. So interestingly, we have arrived at this point in the history of Roland where we have the JDXA. It's an analog digital crossover synthesizer. I'm very excited about it because it does something that no other synthesizer can do. It has two separate sound engines, one analog and one digital path. You can use them individually or you can use them combined. I particularly like the effects which give you great flexibility. You have 12 DSPs and they really do sound extraordinarily good. The synth has loads of polyphony and is really well built for live performance. All the controllers are in the right places. The filter is particularly good too. When you hear the filter stepping through on this, it has a lot of depth. I've always been surrounded by Roland products when we're on tour. They've been incredibly reliable. I kept the Jupiter 8 out for as long as I possibly could. And then eventually I decided it was silly taking them out because I didn't want to damage them anymore. And so we've sampled all my original sounds from the Jupiter 8. And on this tour, the uh, upcoming tour for Paper Gods, I'm going to be taking out three of these JDXAs and using them internally but also as controllers because they do work particularly well with the main stage system. I wanted my keyboards for the live show to have the sort of controllers on them and performance ability of the synths that I usually use in the studio. And since most of them are Roland, the JDXA is perfect because the uh, pitch bend and uh, the modulation and the wheels are programmable, assignable, um, obviously for anything you want. So you really do have incredible control over what you're doing. And if you happen to be traveling on a bus, plane or train, there is a handy pocket size version, which is the JDXI. After three and a half decades of using Roland products, I find myself making the new Duran Duran album and I'm still using Roland synths. The JDXA, which arrived during the final days of recording Paper Gods, has even made it onto the album. <laughs>